Ladies and gentlemen, the first official Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards are officially here, and we're going to open them up in today's video. Let's get it, shall we? What's good, everybody? Darkle here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, guys, you're probably wondering, Dark Ghoul, where are the Scarlet and Violet cards? Well, let me show you. I hope y'all are ready because we are opening up the first ever, I'm talking the first official Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards, and we're talking about the brand new collection boxes that literally just dropped, my guy. Literally just dropped, and we are talking about the Scarlet and Violet starters. Check this out, bro. We got the Quaxley Paldea collection box, and it does, in fact, contain the first ever Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards, the first sneak peek at what the new cards are going to look like, bro. And just like that, you can see silver borders and you can see the old school EX symbol. Well, it's more like modern and old school because it's a mix of both, but I mess with it, bro. I mess with it but like i said the first box we have is the quaxley paldea collection but that's not all we're opening up bro we're also opening up the other two and obviously i'm talking about the fue coco paldea collection aka the best starter of Be scarlet and violet bro one. yeah i said it it is the truth the honest truth bro and finally we got the sprigatito Oh, I have no idea why I said its name like that, but we got the third and final collection box, bro. Also, let me know your thoughts on these boxes in the comments down below. Smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, bro. And if you want to cop yourself some of these boxes or you want to put pre-orders for Crown Zenith, make sure y'all check out PSAPikachu.com. That is literally where I've been getting all of my sealed Pokemon product, my guy. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first box. Two hours later. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna have to dissect these boxes a little bit more careful because I am curious on how these cards are going to look when Scarlet and Violet officially comes out sometime in March, you feel me? So guys, check this out. The first thing that you get from these boxes is actually pins of the starter Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet, so check that out. These pins are actually adorable, I'm not gonna lie, but we're not here about pins, bro. We are not here about pins, you feel me? We just not are! So here is the next item, guys. The booster packs. The booster pack selection is actually pretty good, bro. You obviously don't get Scarlet and Violet packs, but you do get two Silver Tempests and two Brilliant Stars, bro. So you could either hunt for that Lugia alternate artwork, or you can hunt for some Arceus cards or Charizard cards, you feel me? And obviously, we got 12 booster packs total. But first, before we take a look at those packs, we're going to check out the promos with the Silver Borders, bro. So here we go, guys. We got the first official Pokemon card, an English Pokemon card with a Silver Border, bro. Normally, we see these with like Japanese cards, bro. But look at this. We got the first Silver Border, and I honestly don't know how I feel about this, bro. I honestly don't know. I mean, maybe if the hollow foil pattern itself was better, then I wouldn't mind the silver border. But right now, that hollow foil pattern on the art itself, it's not it, bro. It's way too simple. It needs something to make it more unique. But then again, these are just promo cards, bro. So we don't know what the official cards are going to look like, or at least I don't, you feel me? Because I don't like to look ahead and spoil myself on upcoming sets. I like to be surprised, you feel me? So check that out, guys. How do you feel about these silver borders, bro? 
How do you feel? Let me know in the comments down below because I am curious, bro. So we got the first one. We got the second one of Quaxley right there. Look at that. The second silver border Pokemon card. And then we got the Fue Coco. That right there is fire, bro. I absolutely love it. And then obviously you get yourself a code card. But look at these cards side by side and tell me what you think, bro. I honestly like them, bro. I'm not going to lie. But first, let me grab an English Hollow, bro, and put them both side by side. Alrighty, guys, are you ready for the side by side comparison? Because it's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this, bro. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not going to lie. The silver border is a hundred times better. Look at this side by side comparison, bro. It's night and day, bro. It is night and day. The yellow borders are kind of ugly, at least on hollows, bro. It kind of works on some variants of English Pokemon cards. But for the most part, I do like the direction of silver borders. I'm not going to lie. What do you prefer? The right side or the left side? I'm 100% going with the right side, bro. It is straight fire. And then obviously the only difference you get from the other collection boxes is going to be the pin variants and the main star variant. So for the Fue Coco box, you obviously get a different promo than the one that you get in the other boxes. You feel me? So if you want to collect all the promos, you basically have to buy all the boxes or you have to buy them as singles. You feel me? And then obviously you guys get to keep a code card for every single one. So check that out. And then we got ourselves the final box with the Quaxley. Like I said, the promo is different depending on which box did you buy. You feel me? And obviously, I'm not going to be keeping all of these copies. I will be giving them away on my social medias. So make sure y'all follow me over there. And finally, bro, we're going to be taking a look at the first ever Scarlet and Violet EX cards, bro. Check this out. We got the Coridon EX, and I'm not going to lie, it definitely gives me EX vibes. Like from 2015, XY series type vibes. I'm not going to lie. Just with lowercase EX lettering. That's literally all I see in this card, bro. Like... What else is different? Maybe like the retreat? No, I thought that was the retreat cost right there, but it's definitely not, bro. Obviously, there is some subtle changes that they made with the cards themselves, but for the most part, it is definitely giving me XY vibes mixed with old school EX card lettering. That's it, you feel me? The borders don't, you know, remind me of old school EX cards or nothing like that unless they make, you know, different type of cards when the set actually releases you feel me so we got the Coridon and we got the Maridon right there check that out both of these Pokemon are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful bro so look at that the first EX cards they're crazy bro they are crazy I actually mess with them heavy I'm not gonna lie me personally I was a huge fan of the X Y series, bro. The real question is, were you, or did you think the X Y series was boring? It all comes down to preference. But with that being said, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and let's get into the booster packs. So here we go, guys. We got the first booster featuring Silver Tempest. I got every single promo on the background. I got my most favorite promo as a star of the show. So let's see what we can get, guys. Let's see if we can get some more bangers in today's episode and let's just go ahead and open up the packs normally but look at that guys they got the silver borders this product is definitely weird because you get silver borders you get yellow borders you got the best of both worlds you feel me so we got ourselves a victini right there nothing too crazy let's see if we can get a couple bangers at least a couple bangers since we did open up three collection boxes we got check that out we got the golden energy switch bro i'm not gonna lie these gold cards are so good bro they are so good the shine is so good i absolutely love it bro you love to see the gold cards i hope they remain in scarlet and violet bro i really hope they remain because they are so 
good, bro. So we got a new start of the show. We're moving on into some brilliant stars. Technically, the first box had a gold card, bro. I'll take that. I will take that. We got the double Mewtwo action. Y'all know I personally collect Mewtwo cards. So y'all already know what we need to do. Put them on the pool pile because they are going straight into my Mewtwo collection. If you guys want a video on that collection, let me know in the comments down below so I can make that happen, bro. Because I'm not going to lie, it has grown since the last time you guys have seen that collection. So here we go. Here we go. We got a Honchkrow V full R, baby. Look at that. Back to back. Well, not really back to back, but we got double amazing pools in the first box. In case you guys don't know, four packs equals one box. These boxes only come with four packs. We got the Honchkrow. Absolutely love that Pokemon, but we're keeping the gold, bro. The gold is staying as the star of the show because everything gold can stay, bro. <laughs> everything gold can stay for sure. So check that out. We got a Gardevoir trainer gallery to start things off on our second box i'll take it i will take it bro i'm not gonna lie so we're gonna put that on the pool pile and let's keep the show rolling bro we got some brilliant stars up next i need a lot of cards from these sets bro i'm honestly not sure if i'm going to be able to complete these sets when scarlet and violet releases bro because there is just way too many cards in these sets it's honestly hard to keep up. I'm not going to lie. So we got ourselves a Noivern regular rare. And this right here is the final pack on this second box. So let's see if it's a dud or all we get is that trainer gallery. And yes, sir. All we get is the trainer gallery. All right, guys. Final box. Can we get some final luck in this final box. Even if we don't, bro, I'm honestly excited for Scarlet and Violet, bro. I love the sneak peek on how the cards may potentially look like in the future. It's basically the future of the Pokemon TCG, bro. That's huge. So we got Shay Shay on this cover art. Let's see if it can deliver, though. Let's see if Shay Shay can deliver, bro. And abs- Okay, okay, hold on. I was about to say absolutely not, but- we gotta keep, we gotta keep this Mewtwo. We gotta keep that Mewtwo, bro. Put it on the pool pile because why not? You feel me? Silver Tempest, yet again. Code card, yet again. We got a Miss Magius. Okay. Okay, guys. It all comes down to this final pack. We were starting off strong, but now we are definitely ending things off on a softer note, I guess, bro. So let's see what we get right here. Should we do the pack trick? Let's do the pack trick for the final pack because why not, bro? Why not? So we got fighting energy right there. What do we got? What do we got, guys? What do we got? I'm nervous. I am nervous. We got a ball toy. We got a Dedenne Trader Gallery. Thank you, Lord Helix, for giving us something. We got a Dedenne Trainer Gallery. I mess with it. I mess with it, guys. And then we got the regular rare Pokemon card. Let's just leave it at that. The regular rare Pokemon card. I'm not going to add anything else because that's not fair to the regular rare. But we got ourselves a trader gallery to end things off, which does mean our best pool was indeed the energy switch, my guy. So like I said, bro, let me know your thoughts on these new Pokemon cards with the silver borders, the EX era coming back. Let me know what you think. In the comments down below and like i said if you want to pick up any of these products or pokemon products in general check out psapikachu.com link is in the description and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace dang i'm excited